The right to express dissent in America is in grave danger. One way the government and their corporate underwriters seek to control us is by restricting access to public space to exercise our First Amendment right to assemble peacefully. Zuccotti Park was our commons, a place where citizens assembled to petition the government for redress of grievances. On January 10, 2012, Keegan and I were arrested for laying down in the park. The police had barricaded Zuccotti Park for two months, but on this night the police had to remove the barricades. A letter from the New York Civil Liberties Union, the Center for Constitutional Rights, and the National Lawyers Guild asserted that the barricades violated zoning laws. Zuccotti is a 24-hour park meant for public use. Developers like Brookfield Properties agree to create public space in exchange for building taller skyscrapers. When the police barricades were removed that night, the Occupy Wall Street community joyously streamed in to celebrate and reconnect with each other. Keegan and I naively thought that the First Amendment would protect our right as citizens to peacefully assemble. Instead, we found out that our friend, Freddie the First Amendment, actually needs our help to protect him. Claire and I were arrested that night for laying down on a bench in a 24-hour public park. Um, I was lying down in a public park. We were charged with trespass, resisting arrest, and obstructing government administration. I never thought I'd go to jail for something as simple as laying down on a park bench. All of a sudden, the police came from behind me and put me in handcuffs. While I was in jail, the police attempted to scan my iris. They do this to everyone who is arrested for any reason. I set my features into the expression of quiet optimism, which is advisable to wear and stated, I prefer not to. As punishment for my refusal, I was held in jail for another night while Keegan was released after submitting to the eye scan. I am not comfortable with the police collecting biometric data, but I really wanted to get out of jail. This is a tool of an expansive surveillance state. The New York Police Department and many other police forces are using this technology with no public oversight. Police can now scan irises in a crowd using a handheld device much like a smartphone. This data can only be used for surveillance, not solving crime. A criminal does not leave his or her irises at the scene of a crime, like fingerprints. Please consider donating to our legal fund. We are appealing at the Second Federal Circuit Court to protect the rights of people to assemble, and we seek to create a public oversight of the iris scan program. Let's all protect Freddie First Amendment. Don't worry, we'll protect you.